the world fire for Joshua Sutherland. So 15 of them then for the main race for the long distance hurdlers. And the rain is coming down again now and away they go. With the grey skies overhead, and that might find a splish splash if it lives up to its name, but it's Jumping Jack Flash, who's gone into the lead and gets over the first of the 12 flights in front then. So it's Jumping Jack Flash, the leader. From living the moment, he's caught alongside in second. Those two already four lengths clear of the remainder. Oh, pretty much in a heap, the grey hazel rig hawker might just about take off third there, but didn't land third as Splish Splash got a decent looking jump and is now a clear third. But living the moment, looks like it's going to win the battle to go on. Jumping Jack Flash is second, Splish Splash is third, and then Sports Visa as they get over the third. With the one wide on the track here looks like Raphael and Milet will just about be the back marker as well at this early stage, but it's living the moment on the outside of Jumping Jack Flash, they're the one two and they're a good four clear of Splish Splash in second, oh sorry in third, then Stay Alert on the outside is in fourth, so they race past that ditch and down towards flight number four, all safely over that one and living the moment and Jumping Jack Flash continue to show five lengths clear of Splish Splash and Sports Visa and Stay Alert and Hazel Ring Hawk and they're almost four in a line then and there's almost five in a line behind of Shark, Wright, Scorched Earth, Raphael Amalette, Neaton Messer and Nishar Legacy. Just tucked in behind them, World on Fire, and then the back three of Cuddly Cord, Redwood Edition, and finally Time Capsule. So making their way then through the rain, down towards the next. And living the moment for David Huey, the leader, looking for his first winner of the festival so far. Jumping Jack Flash for Paul Rhodes, who took one earlier. As they get over the fifth, and they're all safe now with that cuddly cord. Made a bit of a mistake at the back. And Graham Clutterbuck and is now a good two or three lengths adrift of the remainder. And it's living the moment. Who is living in his moment at the moment, leading the Cheltenham Field. Looks like cuddly cord might get pulled up actually. It's losing a lot of ground, and I think it might have injured itself on that when it made that mistake. So a bit of misfortune there for the Clutterbuck camp. Let's hope that one's okay to take its chance at Liverpool next week. But it's living the moment as the leader by a length to Jumping Jack Flash second as they come up and take this one in front of the big screen. And indeed the stand as well. That will be the last on the next circuit. And now they swing left-handed and make their way back out into the country again with living the moment clear by length Jumping Jack Flash is second and Hazel Rick Hawker is third Sports Visa is fourth and Splish Blash is fifth and then Stay Alert and Ishan Legacy and then Eaton Mess and World on Fire and Raphael and Marlette and Sharp Wright and Scorched Earth and then Time Capsule and Redwood Edition and Cuddly Cord has been pulled up in front of the stand and will take the shortest route back to the stable yard and it's living the moment leading by two to Jumping Jack Flash who's got a similar length lead over Hazel Rig Hawker as they get over number seven. Looked up there by Sports Visa. Sees that one go up alongside the grey, then Splish Splashes after that one, and then Eaton Mess, and then Initial Legacy on the inside. As they race past the water jump again, that water and that water jump getting deeper by the second as they get over number eight. And all over that one they go with Live in the Moment, clear by two. Jumping Jack Flash is now being joined by Sports Visa. Hazel Rig Hawker got up on the inside of that one and Splish Splash on the outside. Eaton Mess sitting quietly in behind them as they get over number nine. And that means just three more flights to take there in the world hurdle and Living the Moment is the leader. Living the Moment from Jumping Jack Flash second. The only grey in the race, Hazel Rig Hawker is third. Then comes Splish Splash and Sports Visa. Initial Legacy getting closer. Eaton Mess is next. Creeping around the outside there. Scorched Earth is now to it. Looking towards the back. Redwood Edition and Time Capsule are going to have to start making a move shortly if they're going to get into this one over the third last they go and living the moment is still in the lead from jumping jack flash second initial legacy is third then hazel ring hawker they're beginning to bunch now behind this leader and living the moment races downhill is about to swing left-handed and race towards the final couple of flights in this one then and it's living the moment in the lead initial legacy has now come through in a second jumping jack flash trying to rally in third scorched earth going around the outside then splish splash hazel ring hawker's hit a bit of a flat spot world on fire's trying to get into it then sharp right and eating mess and then time capsule has lost his place redwood edition's trying to get into it as well and is now wide 
wide open race and Initial Legacy has come to challenge for the lead but here comes World on Fire and Scorched Earth suddenly it's four and on as they race down towards the second last and World on Fire takes off in the lead better jump by Scorched Earth these two then beginning to pull away are they but Time Capsule has come from the back Splish Splash is next then Raffaella Marlet it's World on Fire in front by a length World on Fire to Scorched Earth in second Time Capsule will third it's the Joshua Sutherland Hawk being chased by the Van Rensburg pair it's World on Fire in the lead from Time Capsule and Scorched Earth gap back to Initial Legacy and Splish Splash then Raffaella Marlet and Redwood Edition it's World on Fire in the lead racing down towards the final flight in the World Hurdle it's World on Fire by about two lengths to Time Capsule in second Scorched Earth is third Splish Splash back in fourth it's still World on Fire coming down towards its final flight World on Fire gets over it well in the lead good, good jump by Time Capsule it's World on Fire in front Time Capsule is getting closer and Time Capsule swoops into the lead it's Time Capsule that takes it up World on Fire is trying to fight back Scorched Earth is trying to run on but it's Time Capsule who's going to take it I think Time Capsule though being collared by Stablemate Scorched Earth and Scorched Earth is beginning to get up on the outside to take it Scorched Earth has won it Time Capsule second then Redwood Edition and Splish Splash and Raffaella Marlet and all the way back to live in the moment who would you believe ended up last well Leon Van Rensburg did himself on the line <laughs> Scorched Earth got up to take Time Capsule and the bigger price won one and will the bookies cry foul Redwood Edition also came from the back so live in the moment set that race up for them too and Scorched Earth thanks it for Leon Van Rensburg I think that's his second 1-2 of the week already and Scorched Earth the winner then Time Capsule second Redwood Edition for David Robertson was back in third and Joshua Sutherland took fourth and fifth with World on Fire and Splish Splash